Hello and welcome. My name is Gerald Stem, and I want to thank you for taking the time and spending it with me on this marketing process training video. By the end of the video, you should have a pretty good understanding of how online and offline marketing works. Before we get started, make sure you understand your why before starting this training module. You've got to have the right entrepreneurial mindset. I've got training modules on my website um, that will talk more about this. I would highly encourage you to do that before you start this training. We're going to be understanding the marketing process. I want you to be looking at the big picture of marketing. I want you to see how all the puzzles fit into place. This is going to allow you to take action and reach your goals much faster. The beautiful thing is you don't need to be a guru. Hey, anybody can do this. It, 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 I don't care about your background, your HTML knowledge. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Anybody can do it. You don't need to be a guru. It just takes a person wanting to learn and then taking action. Um, this is usually what happens in most cases. Somebody wants to make the change. They're willing to switch. They've been with corporate America. They've got a capped income. They're going nowhere fast. They're living paycheck to paycheck, and they know there has to be a better way. So they start to do their research, which is great. And usually what will happen is they'll get into a traditional business, a franchise, so to speak. Could be a food, could be a haircutting, could be a pool cleaning, it could be carpet cleaning. Maybe you're going to do your own startup. That's perfectly fine, too. However, there's a problem. Most of them are over 100000 for startup cost. You've got franchise fees. You've got real estate costs. You've got inventory. You've got to stock your shelves. You've got employees, both good and bad. Uh, you've got employee taxes. You've got payroll, and then you've got upkeep. Business uh, water heater goes bad. You've got to pay to replace it. Now, on most offline marketing, you've gone out, you've set up your business, you've bought your store, you did real estate, uh, you stocked the shelves, you hired the employees, you did everything needed to get your store going. Uh, you're ready. Okay, I'm ready. Now, what am I going to do? You've got to get people into your store. You usually do that with either word of mouth, TV, newspaper, direct mailing, uh, radio, and even online marketing. I know a lot of brick and mortar companies are doing that method. And what you're hoping is they come in the front door, they uh, make a purchase, or that they're going to make a purchase, you're going to make a profit, and you're going to make money. Unless you've got a pretty unique and different product, you're going to struggle with that. Typically what happens with brick and mortars is you've gone out, you've spent all this incredible money for advertising, customer walks in the store, they don't buy anything. As they're heading out, you're chasing them with either a coupon or to fill out a survey or something of that nature. Now, unfortunately, old school network marketing is really pretty close to this. This is a traditional brick and mortar way to set up your, your business. Old school network marketing is really pretty close to it. Wait, you're chasing family and friends. Uh, you're doing meetings at hotels. You're setting up parties at your house. You're doing barbecues at your house. And you're chasing people into uh, your opportunity. And you want to introduce them to your program. You want to introduce them to this incredible network marketing opportunity that's going to make them rich overnight. Old school doesn't work. Um, and there's a much better way to approach it. Now, with an online company business done right, not with the old school of marketing, you've got true time leverage. You'll get true targeted prospects that will convert into uh, buying prospects, buying customers. Very low startup cost. I've seen it anywhere from 
as low as 10 up to three or 400 to get started. That's pretty incredible. No employees, and you have very limited overhead. This is why I feel an online business is more lucrative. I did a traditional brick and mortar business, and let me tell you, it is very, very hard to do. Now, you've gone out and you've decided to do the online business. You've saw the differences and you want to start your own business and you've decided to go with online. You're ready to open your own business. Now, as on the previous slide, we showed a picture of the store. You have to create your own store online, your own address where people can find you. Um, and it's, it's uh, what I call a nerve center. That's where everything happens there. Now, before you select your domain name, you'll want to factor in a couple of things. Are you branding yourself or maybe a product or a service or a company? If you're doing a product, service, or company, you'll probably want to include that name in your domain name. If you're just wanting to brand yourself, uh, then you could maybe just use your name. For a long time, I did uh, GeraldStidham.com. That was my website address, and I used it mostly just to uh, brand myself and learn the business and uh, let people know that I could help them and, uh, and be known as a leader in the business, in the industry. Again, this is your central nerve center on, a, on a, uh, what we mentioned with your domain name. This is going to be your store, and that's what I call the central nerve center. And typically what you'll do is you'll do marketing to drive people to your nerve center. Now, there's a problem. Most are doing it wrong. They're putting the cart before the horse. And what they're doing is um, it's a pitchy approach. And it, it doesn't work. You have to approach this from a value you have to you have to offer value to a prospect uh, and not just pitch your opportunity as an example um, I've seen ads and we've all seen them I saw one that said make 700 or I made seven hundred and ten thousand dollars accidentally I swear that was the header now there's not a very good chance anybody's gonna click that link because they don't believe you for one thing you're coming in from the wrong perspective, the wrong approach. Very unlikely that person really made $710,000 accidentally. Uh, so again, you, you build no trust. Uh, people don't take you seriously. You may drive some of that traffic, but it's never going to convert. And that's the key to this is getting traffic to convert. Um, yeah, I can teach people how to drive traffic all day long, tons of it really pretty easy to do the key is you got to convert that into sales that then builds your downline uh, that could increase your affiliate commissions whatever opportunity you may be involved with if you don't get conversions you're going to not make money you're going to quit and you're going to have a bad taste in your mouth I don't want to see that happen to anybody that's why I'm doing the training uh, so you approach it from the right perspective just remember Always in your marketing, it's a value. What are you going to do for value? That's how you want to approach it, not from the pitchy side. And if you look online, you don't see a lot of people doing that. Um, granted, there's people that make money that approach it from that perspective, but you're going to be working this thing to death. Uh, it's going to be super time-consuming, and it's going to suck the energy out of you. Know your prospects. Who is your target market? Uh, who are you talking to? What's their problem? What is their, what's the problem that they're having? And how can you fix it? How can you find a solution? That's the key right here to uh, getting prospects to convert. Now, a well-done sales funnel, and that's why I talk about a funnel, very big at the top. And it's uh, very narrow at the bottom. We're funneling our prospects through that funnel. The first thing that they'll usually encounter will be my capture page. This is really just a window or a door in front of your website. Um, then I want them to. I'm going to. I'm going to discover my target market. I'm going to ask myself. 
the question, who is more likely to be interested in my business? Is it family and friends? Or maybe Tom from the mall? Not likely. Your target of prospects are people like you and me. They understand the work from home concept. They're entrepreneurs. They're open-minded. Uh, hey, let's be honest. Uh, this industry sometimes gets a black eye because people don't understand how to be a true entrepreneur. What this business can really do for you. Uh, I mean, it can change your life. It's incredible uh, what, what, what this can do for you. So they look at it. They're nine to five. They're not open minded. They want that stability, that two or two week paycheck. That's fine. Let them have it. I got no problem with it. But those are not very good prospects. Um, yeah, I guess you could sell them, but good luck. It, you got a lot of work ahead of you. So, what we want to do is we want to find the problem and offer a solution. Number one. This is the first way you do this. You become a student of the industry. If you're just starting out in the business and you say, hey, Gerald, I've got nothing to offer, no value to anybody. I can't solve a problem. What you do is you learn, you then apply what you learn, you'll experience results from that, then you'll teach others. Then you'll uh, rinse and repeat Oh, okay, Gerald, sounds great, but I don't have time for that. Well, yeah, like I mentioned, this is not a get-rich-quick overnight. If you're looking to make $200,000 in two weeks, I'm certainly not somebody that you want to be uh, involved with, and I don't know many that are. I would recommend you go back to your 9-to-5 job. So um, that's how you do that. Uh, you become a student of the industry. You you become a little more valuable than the next person that's doing this. And it doesn't require you not to be a master. You don't have to know every single thing because you're going to rinse and repeat. So you're going to learn a, a technique or a video or something to help solve somebody's problem. You'll then apply that. You'll, you'll have results, and then you'll teach others how to do the same. The second way is to... Leverage your upline success. You would join a opportunity or a program uh, that already has it in place. Everything's already there for you. I'm an example of that. I have all the content. I've got uh, videos, training modules, capture pages, squeeze pages, things that you could just plug into to solve somebody else's problem. As a member of my team, you would have full access to that. Uh, I would give you everything that I have that I've done and all the content I put on the, on the Internet, you'd have access to all that. And even your team's members and team's team's members, you know, down as deep as my program goes, they all have access to my information. So you could leverage, you could join someone and you could leverage their upline success. The last one would be to take advantage of a pre-designed offer with exclusive training. A couple I know about are MLSP and My Home Biz, that actually should say Builder. So um, those are a couple that I know about. They're already built for you. You simply would have to plug into them. They'd have capture pages. They'd have sales pages, um, things of that nature to help you solve somebody's problem. Now, ultimately, you want to be building your own content and your own program. But as you're doing that, you can use these other methods uh, to drive traffic and get that convert to sales and start making some money. Now, typically, <coughs> let's just, <coughs> excuse me, on an online sales funnel, you have the marketing. Here's the marketing uh, that's driving the traffic. But... Because we did it the right way, we didn't approach it from a pitchy perspective. We approached it from a value. We then drove them to our capture page. So we said, hey, we know you got a problem. I'll fix your problem. I've got a solution for it. Go over and check it out at my capture page, my squeeze page. This is like a little window in front of your website. That's really all that is. So this then captures their information. You say, hey... 
uh, here's the information, but to get it, I need your email and your name. You're now uh, building a relationship. Now, the second one is once the capture page has been filled out, it redirects them to either a sales page, maybe another report, a video page, something of that nature. So you've captured their information, you've sent them to another page, and eventually you're going to they're going to end up in your store or your nerve center, which is your website. So once they've captured and they've went and the autoresponder has redirected them to a sales page or a more another report, the autoresponder kicks in via email and sends them additional information about uh, your opportunity or maybe more valuable information, which will have links back to your nerve center, back to your website. It'll keep sending this information. Um, it keeps you in front of them. It keeps you building that relationship. And that's the key here is building a relationship, getting people to trust you, and solving a problem. Once you do that, you've got conversions, baby. You'll start getting some great conversions and you'll start making money. Remember, people do not join opportunities. They join people. Get that in your mind. I don't care. I've had people come to me, oh, Gerald, uh, your opportunity sucks. I'm not making any money at it. Uh, or, hey, Gerald, I was in this opportunity and it sucked. I made no money at it. I know for a fact I can go to that opportunity and I can find very successful people in that program. So that tells me it's not the program. Unless it's a blatant Ponzi scheme, uh, most are pretty legitimate and you can make money at them. The person is not joining the opportunity. That's why you got to quit pitching up in here. You got to quit pitching your businesses, which is what everybody does. Join me, you'll make a million dollars, and you don't have to do anything. It doesn't get you anywhere. Add value, add, add content, treat people with respect, and the money will flow. The money will happen. First, take care of your prospects, take care of your people, provide good content, and I promise you the money will flow. Remember this, you can have everything you want in life as long as you help enough other people get what they want. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I know it was a lot to take in. Uh, don't try to absorb it all at once. Take this in bites. Now there are more valuable training to come. I've got a lot more training on this uh, and that's going to be included with this series. So I would encourage you to either come back to my website uh, and you can uh, keep updated there on what I'm uh, on the new content and the new training modules. Now, to learn more about me, you can click here to see uh, to go to my website. Uh, you can connect with me on my YouTube channel, my Facebook page, or my Twitter account. So again, I appreciate you spending the time with me very much. Thank you. Uh, until the next training module, I'll see you at the top. And remember, I'm always available to answer your questions or concerns. Never feel like you're bothering me. I encourage you, whether you never join my team or not, I'm here to help in any way that I can. Thanks, and I'll see you later.